Γιώργο, με έπιασα η πείνα τώρα, το ξέρεις. Δεν το πιστεύω. Μου λέει ότι κλείνει 12 η ώρα και είναι μόνο 9 η ώρα. Το πιστεύει, Απαπα. Ε, δεν τρώσε ένα γύρο, ρε. Ρε ζων, δεν τρελάθηκε. Ξέρει πόσα πακτήρια είναι μέσα αυτά τα πράγματα. Είναι να βάζει το στόμα σου πάνω μέσα σε ένα μέρο. Πρεπίσιο είναι, απέσιο. Bobo, what are you doing in there? I, I'm just on the internet, Mama. I'll be out in a minute. So, mate, what do you reckon Bobo closed the shop early for? Man, who knows? You know, who cares? I mean, at least we get a night off. But, you know, I bet you something to do with his mother, though, you know? I mean, that's why I can have no respect for the guy as a boss. 40 years old, he's still on the little finger from his mother, you know? Hang on. Mate, you and your girlfriend live with your mother. What's up with that? Yeah, but I'm saving money, man. We only make three bucks an hour. What, do you want me to live the Hilton? Pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Bells will ring, tingle, ling, ling, tingle, ling, ling, and you'll sing the Vita Bella. Hearts will play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like a guitar and I'll get you, piece of it! You see the things you've got! I'll get you, man! Don't you worry! I'll get you! Let go! Mate, what happened? What's going on? Man, that's that psycho who lives on George Street with the old lady. You ever delivered there? Nah, mate. I feel sorry for this guy, right? You know, he's a Fruit Loop, he's a Dingle Ball, you know. Let go! Let go! And what they told me happened to him was when he was a kid, two Dodgem cars, they, they ran into his head and cracked it, you know? And uh, what's bad for me is that he thinks that I look like the guy that did it. So every time I try to deliver there, he tries to kill me. Come on, Paulie, you're talking to Sleeky, mate. Was it you? Huh? Did you run that guy's head over like a tomato? Man, I don't know. I mean, I did work at a dodging place for a few years, but uh, I mean, I ran over lots of kids. I don't know, maybe it was him. But look, that's not important, you know. The reason Psycho Boy is running around is that, you know, it all started last week with a delivery. Hey, pizza! Come on, big head, I've got a hammer, mate. No tricks. Get out of here! 
So what was going on, mate? I mean, you know, what happened was the father of the, uh, the Fruit Loop, he died six months before, you see. And the mother, she was grieving. So what does this funny bunny do? He goes to the graveyard, digs the body up, the old man, <laughs> takes it home, puts it in the TV chair where the old man used to sit, puts the remote in his hand and everything, because he thinks he's going to make his mother feel better. You know? Keep bringing his back, you keep bringing his back. And there's me looking at this whole scene. I couldn't believe it, man, I swear to God. So did you call the cops? Mate, I wanted to, you know what I mean? But the old lady, she's begging me, please don't. You know, she doesn't want popcorn here to go to jail. So, you know, next thing I know, I've got this decomposing, stinky stiff in my car, and I've got the psycho, we're heading to the graveyard, and it's in broad daylight. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Leave the settings, man. It's my sister. Oh, stop it. I just fixed them. Ah! Ah! God, this thing is stinking up my car. Ah! You not? Ah! Ah! Get I'm trying to get it out. Stop uh, talking to him. He's on. dead, all right? Okay, well, come on, come on. Let me get that leg, all right? Okay, just leave you. Don't hang him like that. What did you do to him? He's dead, man. Just come on. We gotta put daddy back, we have to put him back, you know, he, he can't stay out like yeah, this look, all shut the time. Up. Where the hell is the grave, uh, where is it? I don't know, it's, it's over there. Come on, it stinks. Where did you find this one? Well, yeah, yeah, just came in this morning. There's cops there, man, at the Should hole. Should we tell him we're here? Shut up, will you? I'll be, I'll come to see this now, but I came with you, right? <laughs> you know what? Fine, fine. Let's stop there. Man, look, just get the body out of here, right? Just hide it. Look that way, you need to get it. Go! Man, so I'm in the middle of this whole scene, you know, and Bobo's hassling me to get back to work. He's the guy ringing me, you know? What's going on? We've got five cold pizzas sitting here. Yeah, man, look, I'm coming, all right? Yeah, I got a flat tire. You know, I'm coming. There's another one. Yeah. So did they bust that nut? Man, he grabbed the corpse and he sprints off. I've got to take home because the police are after us now. You've got, got to get home quickly. Okay, Sansa, what are you doing in here? Mate, I was just taking a shortcut, you know, I deliver pizzas and this was a good way to go through, you know, because I've got to go to the surf shop, which is... Are you on your own, mate? Yeah, no, just, just me. Nobody else about? Well, I didn't see anybody. The surf shop? We've got to go home really quick, so, so no mucking about, we've just got to go. He leaves me to deal with the whole thing, man, I end up being like a negotiator, you know. And he, he's the mystery man, he runs off. That night, you know, he's planted the body somewhere, he takes it home, he's hidden it like a rabbit, you know. So this is what happens. The mother, she goes to bed. She pulls back the sheets. What does she see? It's the corpse, mate, right in the bed there. Man, she has a heart attack. She falls right on the floor. She's in the hospital now. That's why that nut is running around causing chaos. <laughs> That's the game, buddy. You owe me a drink, I think. I'll have a cocktail, mate. Actually, make it a slippery nipple. Remember me. Bobo, I hope you're not making pornographic things on the computing internet. Eh? Give me a break. I'll be out in a little while. Man, I hope this club we're going to has got lots of girls there, you know? Mate, it's not like the clubs you go to all guys. Mate, I introduced you to my new girlfriend, she's a glamour. Yeah? Yeah, and I already put a good word in for you with her friends. Tip top. Yeah. Look, don't tell my girlfriend, all right? I think we'll just get a cab up here, man. Yeah. Man, it should be a good night tonight. For oh. sure. <laughs> hey, is it, is it just me, or is that a guy in a monkey suit? Mate, you won't believe it, that's the same idiot animal I delivered pizza to earlier tonight. <laughs> mate, mate, there was this lady in there, she's about 50. I don't mind, I'll take them 18 or 80, blind, crippled and crazy. Jim can't talk right now. He's been a bad monkey. <laughs>
<laughs> that would be uh, 15 bucks then. <laughs> We're going for it, mate. And this monkey got upset, slammed the door in my face. <laughs> you know, I just can't understand what it is that women find so sexually attractable about us pizza guys, man. I don't know what it is. Holy, I know what it is, mate. Look at us, mate. We're beautiful people. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Bobo! I hope you're not doing some dirty things in there. Eh? Mama, I'm just going out, all right? I'm just getting ready. Who goes out at this time? It's nearly 10 o'clock. Oh. Bobo! Bobo! Mama! I think we get a cab somewhere up here, man. That's cool, mate. Hey, look, yesterday, thanks for doing that overtime for me. I have to keep visiting my mother in the hospital. She's very sick. <laughs> I went out with the Australian dollar for a while. It was great going out with something guaranteed to go down on you at least three times a day. <laughs> anyway, Jesus uh, was crucified. I thought if Jesus was around today, they would have put him to death on an electric chair. And all the Christians would have to wear electric chairs around their neck. And instead of being called Christians, they'd be called electricians. <laughs> and instead of going like that, they'd go... <laughs> Yeah, man, what I don't get is, but, like, why would you visit your mother when you live with her? She's on the dialysis, man. She's had every kind of cancer that's in the textbook, you know. Oh, man, it's a cab. Taxi! Taxi! Come on, man. man. There's no taxis there, man. It's because you're wearing them sunglasses. It's not, time, man. It's because of my pants, mate. I wear the sunnies so people don't recognise me, mate. It's hard being slick to elite, mate. Because you think it's a wrapping? Yeah. Mate, not like you. I know why you wear the hat to cover your baldness. No one listens to raps anyway, mate. Come on, man. Admit it's it. a short haircut. <laughs> yeah. This is a short haircut. Slick! Chalky. Hey, where you going, man? Yellow, jump in. You want to lift? I've got these three girls that clean ass. Come on. Get nervous before a date. Kiss me, kiss me, sweet and I'm a Hey, Slick, I think I'll just park it here. What? Problem here. That's my f***ing spot, you. Hey, that's my f***ing spot, you. F***ers. And don't you f***ing swear in front of my wife, you. F***ers. Man, does your mate need a hand? Nah, man, he's all right. Mate, he's the Lebanese Rambo, and I'm the Lebanese lover. You think you're f***ing tough? Well, f*** you and your f***ing wife. I'll stab you, you. F Oh, yeah? Oh, just you f***ing try it, mate! Come on, you bald f***ing! Have a go! And you too, you f***er! Come on! Do you f***ers know who I am? I'm the Lebanese Rambo! Hey! If you don't f***ing shut up, I'm gonna blow your f***ing head off! My f***ing baby is sleeping! F*** you! Friends always get into this kind of stuff. Yeah, man. Except usually we're the ones doing the shooting. Oh, wait, who's got their hands on my leg? Big date tonight, sir. 
you meeting any foxy ladies? Oh, man, have I got a big one. I got the most beautiful girl. I met her on the internet. I'm meeting her tonight. <laughs> I love the internet. All those porn sites, you know? But I've got to hide it from my wife. Otherwise, she might think I'm a pervert, you know? Yeah, I got the same trouble with my mama. You still live with your mother? Mate, I'm really disappointed about those girls. Man, that one, she wanted me bad. Yeah, but you know, man, she was wounded slick. What do you want? She couldn't even walk. But hey, the upshot was, I did get this jacket from the car, man. That's good. Yeah. Mate, at least one of us done all right. Yeah. Is that the club over there? Yeah. Tonight? Yeah, I'm a, uh, a member. Sorry, buddy. Private party. Well, uh, lucky I brought my invitation. He's got his invitation, mate. Tonight is members only, lady members only, private party, mate. Sorry. It's ladies' private party. Oh, What's that? Hey, boys. Hi, Come on in. Have a good night, boys. Hey, that was me. What's going on? Look, you're too short, right? What's going on, mate? Sleek. Don't let me in, man. Come on. Is he with you, Sleek? Yeah, it's with me. Don't tell everyone, all right? Come on, man. You going, sir? Where's Sonny's next time, man? Not a hat. Hat's a good man. Get raw with the fever on the dance floor. <laughs> Hey Donna. Hi. How are you? Hi Helena. Hello. Hey guys, this is Paul, the guy I work with, the one I was telling you about. Is he the Nah, nah, that's Bobo, my boss. This is the other guy. He said they were both <laughs> I did it, man, I swear. You're nobody till somebody loves you. You're nobody till somebody cares. You may be the king, you may possess. Aren't you going to take off your shirts like the rest of the guys? Yeah, watch. What are you doing, mate? Come on, man, take your shirt off, mate. Come on, what are you doing? this is a nightclub, man. Take your shirt off. What do I look like? Some kind of self-possessed narcissistic I mean, yeah, only the real take their shirts off in nightclubs. It's bad enough you wear a hat, but you wouldn't even take your shirt off. I'm trying to educate you, mate. Hey, look, if anyone should be upset, it should be me. They, they knocked off my jacket, OK? I can't believe that, mate. You stole that jacket from my mate's car. I didn't steal it. The girl left it there when the bullets were flying and everyone was running, all right? If she wanted it, she would not have left it. Let's get a kebab. All right, all right. I like your jacket. Ooh, thanks, I just got it. Hey, mate. Yes, mate. What's in your mystery kebabs? I can't tell you, it's Mr. Hey, Paulie, you want a mystery kebab? Yeah, just, uh, I'll just get one with chilli sauce. Two mystery kebabs, buddy. One with uh, chilli sauce and the other one with, what do we got? Hummus, falafel, tabula, and garlic. Heaps of garlic. Jeez, I hope she wants me. Man, this thing made me sick as a dog. I think I solved the mystery of it. It was cooked in the toilet, man. Probably, mate. Man, what do you expect? They weren't even Lebos, uh, Greekos or Turkos or something. But hey, look at that. 
Hot dog stand, mate. Real Aussie Tucker. Yeah, I think I know the bloke. Yeah. Holy. How have you been, man? Oh. Yeah, man, uh, it's good to see you. How's your family and everything? Oh, mate, never better, never better. You know the little man, he's always asking me about you. Well, what, he can talk now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He never stops. Look, hey, look, what can I do for you fellas? What? A couple of specials on the house. How does that sound? Good, mate. Yeah, but how do you know each other? Hey, how do I know Paul? This man's a hero. He saved the life of my son. Yeah, he's a hero, all right. Man, that kid's crying in there. What do they expect me to do? Save him? I might get burned. But wait a minute. If I save that kid, I'll be a hero. I'll be in those women's magazines and stuff. Man, what a way to meet chicks. I'm coming, kid. Oh, yeah, that's right, man. Your plane crash. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you saved the baby, though. Yeah, man. Me and the kid were the only survivors. Didn't you read about it? It was in all the newspapers, man. Mate, I read the Lebanese El Telegraph. It wasn't in that. I read Hustler and I read Mad. Never saw it. Well, it was a big deal, man. We were lost for two weeks. Man, I've been in the bush for a week. I'm starving. <laughs> it's these leaves. They might be poison. I'll test them on the kid here. Eat them, eat them. Mate, I came to think of that kid just like my own son. Go over there, kid. Test for snakes. Go on. Oh, there's one. So how'd you find water? Mate, the thing is with water, you just got to know where to look. Come on, kid, sweat. I'm thirsty, man. So what made the plane crash, man? Did they ever find out? Uh, something technical. Yeah, no, I'm talking on the mobile now. Why is that? Nah, man. Using mobiles in planes is not dangerous. They only tell you that because, you know, when you're up in here and you make the calls, they're free calls. I swear, it's true. Hello, I need ambulance. I think he's bad for poison. Asto, hello. This one of me face. Sorry, boys. Can't come in tonight. Tonight, short night. Oh, come on, man. Look, you know, we're pretty short. Mate, you ain't short enough. How you going, my hey, man? Hey, you stretch. Hey, you doing, brother? Here you go. Hey, you brother. See you later. Man, I swear to God, they must have, like, special nights for everybody now. You know what's next? Man, I wouldn't have got to this if we didn't get kicked out of my club. I mean, just, just get over your club, mate. Those, those there are stooges in here, look. They're uh, nerdy stooges, man. You're a stooge. This one, this one, what's this? This is a club here. Mate, I've heard things about this place, but, I mean, it's worth a shot. Well, come on, man, let's just go. Ladies, we'd love to, I promise. Hey, Paulie, but we can't see. We got Lebanese back. We got sore backs, we can't. We're on workers' con. Man, this is one of them trans testicle clubs, man. Hey, two of my favourite employers. <laughs> what are you doing here, Bobo? <laughs> hey. I'm meeting a beautiful girl. She'll be here any minute. It's a good club, eh? Lots of lovely ladies. Yeah, well, bye bye, man. It was uh, wonderful seeing you on our night off tonight. Um, but we're going, all right? We'll see you tomorrow at work. Oh, no, 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 boys. You can have a drink with me, eh? Bye bye. There you are, Lola! 
You look better in person than you do on the internet, Dal. Hey, Bobo. Just remember one thing, buddy. If it's not on, it's not on, mate. He's that drunk, he can't tell the difference between a man and a one of them. Man, that's what happens when you live with your mother. Hey, baby, oh. why didn't you call me last week? It's a little bit